Okay, that's fine. Let me discuss some network analysis problem. Network analysis problem. So, like this. Sorry, I couldn't draw from here. Let me draw. Let me give a capacitance also here. This is the resistance. This is the inductor. This is capacitance. Now, this capacitance value is 3 microfarads and inductance value is 2 millihenries and resistance value 1 kilo ohm. Under these conditions, if you try to calculate the natural frequency, the root of LC, that will give you 1 by square root of 2 into 3 into 10 power of minus minus 4. <coughs> that will give you 1 by 4 okay. Now, this particular problem will have, let me take one more problem. I am taking this bridge problem to calculate some resistance and this is the bridge problem. For this bridge problem, let me connect the inductor, sorry, resistance here in the middle. Now, I am saying this is 2 ohms, this is 5 ohms and this is 4 ohms, this is 10 ohms and this is 15 ohms. Here, let me connect it some voltage source P. Now, for this, I have to calculate the current flowing through 15 ohms. In the sense, current flowing through 15 ohms. Current flowing through 15 ohms is how much? Yeah, as it is, basically, we have to think of, first thing is, it is a balanced bridge. As it is bal balanced bridge in the sense, P by Q equal to R by S, you know, in the sense, 2 by 4 equal to 5 by 10. Now, as it is a balanced bridge, so how much current will go through the middle branch? There will be no current. So, I15 equal to 0 amperes. That's it. Let me take one more small problem. And this problem, maybe let me take it. I am trying to calculate equivalent resistance across this. So, I have to take up to this. Up to this. This is the area. This is the area. And we can work from this area. This much area can be drawn. That is fine. Let me stop it.